Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. Our adventure continues. Let me just see. Can I, do I have enough for leveling up? No, we got 5,000. We're probably going to lose these 5,000, but I'm going to tackle that beast that's outside because now we have a friggin' uh, side of grace right next to it, and we're going to go right in, and we're going to explore this whole courtyard immediately after I tackle this vicious beast that's right here. There it is. And let's go ahead and pop this. Will you come in here? Will you, will you come inside? Because I'm not I don't want to fight you out there. Could I use the beast to like murder it? Yeah, spit at him. Spit at him. Yeah, don't let wait, does he not come here? Okay. But I hate this thing, because I remember this thing hitting like a truck in the beta. Oh! Oh, you are weak, actually. I have a good shield. That's a difference. Ooh! He still hits like a goddamn truck, though. Is he poisoned yet? Dude, Squid Boy doing work. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. Yep, he's poisoned. I love Squid Boy. Squid Boy's the best. Get him, Squid Boy. Okay, you just keep jumping around. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. I'm be real. Whoa, beast blood? Old Fang. Okay. Does Beast Boy not exit? He's just like sitting here turret mode. Okay, well, either way, we're gonna have to clear this place up, so we're gonna go nice and slow. Take our time. We're gonna have to murder everybody, it's just the way it is. Wonder if the beast respawns. Come on over. Oh crap! What? Dude, 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 Where the hell did this guy come from? Yep, yep, uh, uh. Jesus Christ, these guys are. Well, I guess we're gonna find out if that beast respawns or not now, aren't we? Also gonna lose like two thousand souls. Thank God. Oof, I was so scared that thing was gonna respawn. Ooh wee. Okay. So I actually want to try out another one of my summons. Let's try out these two dudes. Let's see how well they do. doing a reasonably good job of keeping everybody's attention, but then again, these guys are like weak sauce, so... The only reason they got me earlier is because they caught me by surprise. What's the other guy up to? Tanking stuff? This dude's dead. Also, for today's episode, before we actually follow up on that uh, investigation over there, 
So today I actually recorded some b-roll uh, for a video that will have come out long before you guys see this one. And um, as I was recording that b-roll, I ran into an area that I hadn't really been to before. And I want to go there with this character because of reasons. You guys will see what it is. I mean, I will see what it is because I don't actually know what I'm going to find there. I know that there's um, I found an invading NPC, so we'll deal with that. But after we deal with the invading NPC, I'm very curious to see what we'll find. Now, is there a way for me to open the gate? Exile Greaves. So, do we start seeing the ballistas come into play? Not so far. Oh, I heard something. Yep, there it is. There's the ballista. That means it's time to run. Nope, we're gonna go straight to the top. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, so from here they can't shoot- Oh! Okay, this guy can still shoot me with that crossbow. Okay. Don't kick me, please. Now we get rid of this guy. And oh boy, do I miss one of the enchantments that I had. Oh, okay, the dude's coming back. Oh, I have a ranged guy with me, that's great. Oh, the hammer dude's dead, though. When did he die? But still, just having, like, an archer just shooting other people, it's a good thing. This guy is very useful. Very good. Very good. Did I kill everybody that was around here? I think I did. Smithing stone one. There's no way for me actually to go up there, but I've been up there, though. So that's fine. Uh, let's see if there's a way to open up the door. Because I think that this will would mean we cleared the... We cleared this place, right? Oh, there's still this guy. Hello! Goodbye. I love how long summons just last. They just stick with you until it's like, oh, you're going to leave the area? Okay, I guess I'll leave too. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of items. Here. Hey, don't know. He's gone. Just as I was like, you know, telling him how amazing I thought he was, he's like, okay, I guess I'm leaving then. So I can't open this gate. Not from here anyway. There's probably like a lever somewhere that I can do. So we'll try to find that. Naturally, there's this thing. So basically, if you don't tell the guy... Oh! Okay, here it is. Okay, that makes sense. Where does this drop go to? Oh, this is the place where the other guy was. Okay. We'll touch Grace here. And let's see if there's anything on the outside. And I think that this will have been... I suspect that this will have been the entirety of the castle, but to be honest, I'm still not sure, and there's still that area that we haven't been to. But we did clear the courtyard, like I said I would. So now let's just explore the side areas there and see if there's any items that we missed. But hey, the gate is open. I was wondering if the gate was going to be closed forever if we didn't ask uh, Home Slice earlier, the guy who was kicking Godric's face in by the time we beat him. We didn't ask him to open the gate. I was wondering if it was going to just, like, stay closed. Okay. What's the significance of the beast being here, too? That crazy-ass beast with blades. I thought that was only going to be there for, like, the network test, but no. Okay. So, that is the courtyard cleared up as well. I really do think we've cleared most of the castle, so we're going to go to Limgrave Tower Bridge to explore this area soon. But... Actually, no, we'll explore it now. We'll explore that area now, because that actually goes... Because the, the area that I want to go to is here. I want to go here. Because, the, you know, like I said, I was recording B-roll for another video, and there was an invader here that I killed. And there was a structure here. And I want to see what this structure is, but considering that we are here, 
Let's see if this eventually connects there, because there's like also a pathway down through here. So we can just organically get there without needing to fast travel, which is nice. Now, these statues aggro? No, these are just like straight up statues. Initially, when I first saw this place in the network test, I thought that this connected to... That this was actually going to connect to the round table, but no, this place was just closed off. I wonder if this is closed off before you kill Godric. So many questions. So many questions. How many potions do we use in this? Oh, we're good. We good. But I did die, so I did lose a bunch of souls. But I've recovered them since then. But it's okay, because I'm going to die again. I'm going to lose them again. Do I get to use my horse here, by the way? I feel like this is a boss fight. Yeah, this is a boss fight. This is like a Colossus boss fight. 7,000 souls. How much do I need to level up? 9,000. I should I should spend these. I'm gonna... Because, like, I'm gonna start losing them 2,000 at a time. And then I'm gonna be, like, all upset over it and whatnot. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna, we're gonna do these real quick. Uh, let me see here. So we need, like, 2,000. Uh, let's take a look. 200, 400, 800. This is actually like... I don't think this is 400, is it? It is 400. Okay. But these ones were like 1600. No, this is 800 now. Okay, in that case. Tell you what. Tell you what. We just got 1200. So I'd say, let's use two of these. Alright. And that should be enough. What are we even leveling up at this point? Oh, uh, let's take Endurance to 18. That works. And also, do I have flask things to do? I do. Okay. How many flasks do I have right now? Seven. Nice. Dude, I tried messing with the visual options to see what is causing these ridiculous frame drops. I actually lowered the shadow quality, but it didn't appear to have a big effect. Storm Hill. Can I ride here? So, if I can't ride here, it means that this is still considered part of the dungeon. Okay, so one of them's getting up. This is it just one? Wait, he's different. There's two of them. We're gonna have to fight two of them at once. Three of them! And one of them's a bowman. Oh nice, I can get him to hit his friends. Oh no! No, I'm on the wrong side! Stay there. Oh, that looked like it hurt. That one's done. That's it, keep shooting his ass. Shoot him again. Shoot him. He missed. Come on, buddy, come closer. down but I get a feeling that this is too easy there's bound to be another one still 
There's going to be another one. Bad aim, Blondie. Thousand points to whoever gets that reference. Oh, come on! Really? Point blank? That's all of them. Wait, those things weren't lit up, were they? That looks like a teleport ring down there. Also, is there a way for me to just climb up here? No. This is probably a drop that you can't make it back up from. Okay. Warming stone. No! Oh, oof. Thought I was going to be stuck down there. Dude, we are pretty close to the tree. I mean, we were closer the other time that I got teleported. I wish I could ride my horse here. Like, that'd be nice. So that I could properly explore this place. I feel like I'm missing out on things. Because I'm not going to go all the way back. We just kind of ran towards the bowman. But yeah, I don't think that the fire things were lit... We've lit the beacons. The beacons of Minas Tirith are lit. This goddamn game's lit. All right. Let's head out there. Wait, could that be the tower that they were referencing where we'd be able to use Godric's great rune? It kind of makes sense because we have to go through a trial. We have to defeat the three golems. Which is kind of like going through a trial in order to be able to achieve this. Okay, so is this thing going to teleport me? I feel like this is going to yeet me across the chasm. Travel to another location. Well, there's a loading screen. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, we crossed the entirety of the broken bridge. We were like here, and it teleported us all the way there. But before we move forward, I want to move back. I want to see what the hell is back here. Oh, please don't be the... Oh, God, not the birds. Please, no. Stop it with the birds! With the goddamn birds, dude! Seriously? I hate these birds. I hate them. I can't stand them. I would rather fight 50 bosses than these goddamn birds. I'm not even exaggerating. Give me, like, a boss gauntlet of 50 bosses. Before you give me another one of these goddamn birds. I can't stand- Like, I need- I need a different weapon, basically, to deal- Oh. I need a different weapon to deal with these birds, dude. I really do. I need to- I need to equip, like, a bow, but I haven't really found, like, a good bow yet. Oh, no. Two of them? Not like this. I don't deserve this. Please die, thank you. At least these ones have less health than the other ones. Okay. At least these ones have less health, so there's that. What is this item? Silver pickled fowl foot. I haven't even seen what any of these things do. Like, I have them, I never use them. Temporarily boosts item discovery, temporary boosts rune acquisition, so it's not really a big deal. 
Not something that I probably would have used anyway. So there's not really a whole lot here. Looks like you'd be able to jump onto that one, but then you'd be stuck because you can't jump onto the next. And that is the arena that I was telling you get. That is the location that I was telling guys about that right there. I want to go there. Anyway. We still can't mount the, the horse here. So we're still considered being in the instance. We are pretty close to the tree. Oh, there's an item here. I would have missed this one if I hadn't come back. <laughs> Golden room. I think this is one of the problems of the game being uh, open world is that a lot of the times the items that you find are like, eh, whatever. I felt like, I feel like most of the items that you find in, in a Souls games, they're usually much more meaningful than a lot of the stuff that I've found here. In this game, I find a lot of things that I'm just like, eh, whatever. Okay, can we open this? Divine Tower of Limgrave. Yep, it's the Divine Tower. Same door opening animation as other Souls games. Literally unplayable. Zero out of ten. Please. I have to meme on that every time. Okay. Expect that. We are going all the way up. This is like mirror night levels of elevator. And software doesn't usually make them this big. I wish the weather was better so that we could look at it. What the hell? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, is this the other half of the arena that I want to go check out? No way. So there was a shattering. And that's probably another one of the towers, and that's another one of the towers. Good God, there's so many of them. I love that I'm seeing so much of the game and I'm just like, dude. This looks like a giant crotch. Godric's Great Rune. It's like it's made out of tree bark. I'm just in awe. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm completely in awe. Like, just at the sheer scale. I love scale in video games. Godric's great rune raises all attributes. This great rune is known as the anchor ring found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. 
How does it raise all attributes? Like, my stats are the same. Am I supposed to use it? No? My health is the same as well. It's blessing raises all attributes. Doesn't appear to be doing much. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe I can now go back and uh, the finger dude will tell me. Will tell me all about it. But that was a cool moment. So I saw the arena here. But it also showed me an arena like here. Which seemed like it was the other half of this one. Interesting. Interesting. So let's go ahead and just like check real quick. If the dude's gonna tell us anything. In the meantime, let me go ahead and stir my tea. I, I got I got some tea ready because my stomach's been still kicking my ass. Okay, that's that's about warm enough. Oh. Wait, was that not two legs but two fingers? The thing that I saw in the tower, could they have been two fingers? I thought it was like two legs. Who's this? Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Hmm. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll across the realm. Life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Somehow I suspect they tremble because they're scared of me. Rapture. Somehow I get the feeling they're scared of me. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? 
Receive power from remembrance. What does she sell? Ooh, she sells a wide variety of weapons, some armor. Stone sword key. Memory stone. Increases memory slots. Rune arc. Furled fingers. Trick mirror. Take on appearance of a host of fingers. Take on appearance of a cooperator. Ooh, that is dirty. That is dirty, dude. Oh, snap. That is very dirty indeed. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Hmm. Take the power of its namesake via. Oh. I want to see what it is. Can I not look at it? Received power, Axe of Godric. I can't see it. But I can duplicate this remembrance. But why would I want to duplicate it? Okay, I get to choose. Grafted Dragon. Fist, Strike, Bear Witness. The embodiment of the power that still remained in the dragon's head that was grafted to Godric's left arm. The wielder's arm will take the form of a small dragon, sprouting sharp dragon fangs at the fist. This weapon cannot be two-handed. Grant the small dragon a fleeting glimpse of life and thrust it skyward, spewing flames over a wide frontward area. Great wax, great axe wielded by Godric the Grafted. This golden battle axe is emblazoned with the figure of a beast, representing the strength of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord and a patriarch of the Golden Lineage. I command thee, kneel, for I am the Lord of all that is good and golden. Repeatedly smash the axe of Godric into the ground, unleashing two earth-shaking sh shockwaves. Follow up with an additional input to produce a third shockwave. So this is lots of strength, lots of dexterity. Bad scaling, and I don't know if I can even swap the... Mm, I don't like this weapon. I like the look of it, and I think that the special could be cool, but it's pretty much where it ends. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nope. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Mm, I don't know about that. Can we talk more? No? Okay. Now go forth. I'm good. Thank you. Did you learn more about, uh... I have a talent, I suppose. I'll ask. No, you didn't. I still haven't found the person you're looking for. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. The 
road is yet long, a god is not easily felled. But one day without fail, you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen Merica. He serves the queen. Huh. You, is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Tell me about your prayer. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot. But my prayers are mine. And mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful too. Bad Roderick. What about her? Would you watch over her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. It's what she wants. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Okay. Uh, let's talk about you strengthening my other axe. But I'd kind of need, like, a new Ash of War that would also boost strength on this one. Although I don't think I can actually put the Ash of War that I want. How many of these do I have? 24. So I can't afford to upgrade this. I just need, like, a faster, a faster axe. Like, a faster weapon from time to time. So that I have a heavy weapon and a faster weapon. So I am going to upgrade this. Okay, see, this is the problem, because now I only I only have nine of these. Can I upgrade the one that I have? I can. I think this actually puts it at max. Yep, this puts it at max, because now we need smithing stones three, of which I have none. So I can also upgrade this one a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, I want to play with this axe for a little bit. I want to try it out. Got a little bit more faster moveset. It's got good crit. It's got good everything. Hey, I talked with him about it. Okay, yeah, you can go talk to him. He's excited about it. You have no idea. He's going crazy. Like, he's losing his shit completely. He's like super baller, ready to go. Ephili is gone. Home um, Slice, you happy with me yet? You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Yes. Just as promised, I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. I am known as Gideon Ofnir, as a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. Okay. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Praetor Rikard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given. Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lane Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Nice. Tell me about your daughter. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of Grace. Oh, a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes, so I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. You self-serving little bastard! So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, He's a grotesque old fool. Was. Power, 
We killed him. castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest. Oh. But I suspect you know that well enough already. He repeats it in case, like, because there's the chance that you kill one of the other ones first. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the canal. Yeah, you've said that already. By the scarlet rot, even approaching the region is no Okay, so this is the place we got teleported to. Survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy. Marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Kind of want to go after Rikard next, because anyone who challenges the wisdom of the two fingers is someone that I'm interested in knowing a little bit more about. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the two fingers forbid us from venturing there. I've already been there. So we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Why would they forbid so us? Besides elsewhere for the time being, the Veiled Monarch can wait. Interesting. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north. We've seen this one. Towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The great room dwells within the amber egg that was Radagon's gift to her. Thank you very much for the information, my guy. Also, what were these for? I still don't have bell bearings. This door still doesn't open, so these doors open the more things we kill. I like Nefeli. Looks like he's just using her to get his way. Those who live in so this guy's still not doing anything useful for us. And the other guy is also not going to do anything. Let's just take a look at the door here, see if it's open. It is not, so there's no reason to go down there. Wait, 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 wait. Spellcaster boy here. What are you doing? Why are there flies? Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Are your legs rotting? About the corpse under Storm Veil. The misshapen corpse under Storm Veil. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives Plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. So you got smashed up by that mouse. Who the hell's D? Ah, so you've met D. 
I don't actually remember him. Friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths oh. have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. So D is the other guy I've... No, wait, who the hell was D? No, wait, D was another sorcerer that I've met a while ago. I forget who D was. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. Roger's rapier plus eight? What? As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Yeah, this is the guy I met at the castle. D was telling that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person. And if they were like you, all the better. Yeah, he got messed up. He got messed up. Who the hell? Why can't I remember who D is? I mean, I remember other mages, but not D specifically. I need to go back and look at like my playthrough to see if I can remember who D is. But anyways, for now, D. I, I, I sh I'm sure the comment section of this video is just gonna be like, D. You mean D's no? Oh, no. Yeah, I know it's gonna happen. It's just gonna be. So while we're here, I should check to see if he's got like new arts of war. Is he even still here? He is. Glad to see you safe. Here to learn a battle art or two. Yep. We already bought this one. Uh, we don't need kick. Endure. War cry. Spinning slash. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow up attack. Impaling thrust, quick step, parry, no skill. Well, I'm actually not interested. Now I'm curious. Can I? I don't think I can apply the the follow up attack that I have on the other ones. Looks like actually I can the upward cut, which would increase my uh, scaling. So heavy gives us plus 20, removes 13. 13 and gives us 20. So it's good, but it's not like Omega awesome. Storm Stomp. I don't know. I don't know if I want to mess with any of this. Interestingly enough, it looks like I can do any of these and get any of the things that I want. So, like, what does this one do? The termination? So I can just swap it to heavy without actually exchanging the, the skill. So technically speaking, I could, like, swap wild strikes heavy. And then I could swap it again. And do, oh no, because I'd have to remove it if I want to get war cry. Hmm. 
No, I have to, like... If I undo it, then I can get the war cry back. Which, war cry is actually the thing that I like a lot about this axe. Because the charging thing and the movement is really good. So if I actually wanted to buy one, a good one to buy would be the war cry. What the f That scared the shit out of me! What in the actual fuck? That was like out of a fucking horror movie. Could it have been a nighttime thing? Oh, come on. Adam. Whew, for a second I was like, really? That's it? Bone Peddler's Ben Bell Bearing. Let's take a look at that. Offer to Twin Maidens of Husks for new item access. Thin anim Offer to, uh, to gain access to following items. Thin animal bones, hefty beast bone. So this lets me buy materials for consumables once I give them to the other ladies. Still, pretty cool fight. Like a horror movie all of a sudden, but, you know, I think I'll rest until morning because I've, I've had enough of nighttime. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and pass that until morning. And now let's go ahead and check out that area that I've been meaning to check. Although I kind of want to equip my more casual axe now. Because, yeah, in order to try hard on that guy, we have to go with the other thing. But I think that's for just, like, casual casual strolling around. We can afford to play with the axe a little bit. What 
in the hell? Right, you want some? Come on. Why are these things here? I don't see a jail here anywhere. Okay. Also, I have a new buff from what? I have a new buff from... Oh, no, wait. Is this from... Oh no, this axe passively gives you buffs to the Warcry thing, right? Roars are enhanced by this weapon. Nice! So just like, passively roar enhancement. That's cool. So, I believe that if you come close to here... Because this is what happened to me when I came here earlier. Yep, Recusant Enricos. Enricos. That is a beefy mace you got there, Rico's. Damn, he breaks my guard every time, huh? He's got dodges for days. Was not a good trade. That was though. I like that move. Now I'm very curious as to what the hell the hammer talisman does because I did get the loot when I came here for that uh, video that I was recording but I didn't look at it. Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. Oh, that's what he was using that was messing me up. Hammers are highly effective against shield bearing foes, so much so that they are known for night killers. Okay, good to know. Small red effigy. Duelist's furled finger. This is PvP stuff. All I wanted was to fight, to fight as a warrior to the last. So why, oh why, Guidance of Wraiths, will this door not open? So is this supposed to be like a PvP arena then? I guess this might be a multiplayer PvP arena. I don't see what else it could be. Just exploring all the sides here. But yeah, it seems like this is related to PvP, which would make sense because they have uh, an NPC invade you around here. So not really that big of a deal. Okay, I thought this was going to be much more interesting. I'm sorry about that. A little bit anticlimactic, but hey, we got a new, we got a new charm. Now I got to figure out where I'm going to be heading towards for the next. Um, for the next episode. I'm thinking maybe go after one of these trees. Uh, there's also a dungeon that I haven't done that's like over here somewhere. So I could do that too. But yeah, I don't know. I either go this way, which clearly we can see that there's a Guidance of Grace guiding me there. But this Guidance of Grace is going to go to the school of whatever. That's not really the place that I actually want to go to. The place that I want to go to, I think might actually end up being here. So maybe we'll just go over here and try exploring in this general direction. But we'll see what we do. As per usual, thank you very much for watching this episode of my Blind Elden Ring playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I suspect that we're going to be having episodes for a long time to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.